Hello, my name's Artemis, and it seems like once again people are talking about the very concept of being popular and famous within this fandom, which is laughable because nobody is actually famous in this fandom, but whatever, it seems to be a thing that people are talking about, and therefore I have some thoughts to share on the matter because, yeah, sometimes people do end up chasing that fame, chasing that clout, and it has certain effects and certain perceptions that it puts upon other people, and that's definitely something worth talking about, but sometimes it's not all so easy to figure out. Sometimes it's not so clear. Sometimes there are shades of grey. What am I talking about? Well, fuck, let's start the video and find out. So, of course, one of the big things that people typically fucking hate about being, you know, the whole popularity thing is the clicks that come along with it. You know, the ones, the little friendship groups of all the people that do the same sort of shit, that hang out together and don't really let anybody else in. And yeah. Social capital is a thing that exists, and obviously if the people who have the fame are hanging out together and dictating what counts as being famous, they're collaborating together, sharing that social capital, then yeah, they pretty much have a monopoly on who gets to be famous and who gets to join their ranks. And that's shitty, that's terrible, that's awful, that happens everywhere in this fucking world. How do you think it's politics fucking works? That's just the way it goes. You don't have to like it, but it's not exactly like it's locked down to just our fandom. But also, and I don't want to defend this point too much, but also it's not exactly a deliberate thing. Not always, anyway. Sometimes you do see it a little bit where you're just kind of like, wow, all those fucking people just sticking together, not letting anybody else see. Like, okay, that's a bit fucking... I mean, it's a bit cringy, if anything. Like, oh, yeah, you all do YouTube stuff? Do you have a personality outside of that? Jesus. But... Obviously, if you are someone who creates content and you're living on the same continent and you generally want to make videos, you want to enjoy having good times, you want to collaborate with other people, you're going to hang out with people with similar interests. That's kind of what the fandom's all about, weirdly enough, hanging out with people who do the same sort of stuff. So naturally, you're going to flock together. And it's, it's not always just like, oh, they're doing it deliberately. They're doing it because they fucking can. Like, I started off making YouTube videos on my own. I still fucking make YouTube videos on my own because I live in a country where no one else wants to be. Fair enough. I don't have the geographical luxury of being close to other people who can do this stuff. But you better believe if I was, I'd be collaborating a bit more. Definitely. It's just the nature of how this stuff is made. And the clicks can get a little bit fucking much, it can get a little bit bitchy, it can get just fucking irritating to see, and it does almost feel like it's a concerted effort to be this exclusive little club, like, you can't sit with us kind of bullshit, like, this isn't Mean Girls, it's not Mean Furs, so I fully understand it, but also, I mean, people are friends with who they're friends with, and if you're all doing the same sort of stuff, you're gonna gravitate together, but... I don't know. Maybe we can be a bit more selective on who we decide to fucking tarnish with this brush and attack, because I don't think it's everybody, but yeah, there's certainly some guilty parties out there. Now, I do think we need to pay attention to the fact that certain people are just naturally charismatic. Certain people are just happy to fucking be here, and it works for them. Not everybody who attained certain levels of fame and popularity got there deliberately. It wasn't a you know, fully scripted effort on their part to get to that standard and they weren't doing it step by step. Sometimes this shit just happens. Sometimes people are just happy to be here, they have a nice fursuit that they like p taking pictures of, and people like their shit. In fact, that's probably one of the most wholesome ways to find your way going up the leaderboards of, you know, follow accounts and subscribers and shit like that. So I do feel like sometimes it's a little unfair to judge everybody in the same fucking basket, because, yeah, you do have people that chase that clout, you do have people that do it all deliberately, and it's very fucking obvious, but there's a lot of people that just kind of, you know, found their way there. They, it wasn't deliberate, but they ain't gonna be upset that it happened. And, yeah, there is also an element of just... This fandom has a lot of really nice, shiny toys, like fursuits and shit and artwork that we all love, that everybody wants a part of, that everybody, you know, waits a hell of a long time to actually get a hold of. Is it really fair to be judging those fuckers for showing it off? I mean, like... Yeah, if, if you've waited two years for a fucking fursuit, you're gonna want to take pictures of it. You're gonna want to go out and do all the stereotypical shit, like, oh, I'm wearing a fursuit in public, like, nobody's ever done that before. Like, yeah, okay, we've seen that a million times before, but also, good, I'm glad you're enjoying it. You're getting the use out of it. We didn't expect you to just buy it and leave it in a fucking shed, Jesus. So, yeah, I do feel like sometimes we need to call our jets a little bit, just judging everybody with the same fucking paintbrush. It's, it, it doesn't work that way. Some people are abusing this whole fucking fame system, but more importantly, a lot of people really ain't. And it's 
It's kind of a piss take to tell them like, ah, you accidentally stumbled into success and there was a punishment for success. Fuck off. Now, of course, one of the very valid complaints is that, you know, being famous um, or whatever we define it to be and being popular, being of that status definitely gives you a certain amount of clout. And uh, even if it doesn't, it fucking makes you think you've got that clout, which means people do chase it for exactly that reason. We all love having a little moral high ground. We all like sitting on our high horse and having, you know, people that we've got personal little beefs with and just being like, I've got more followers than you. Fuck off. It's fucking fun. I've I've probably done it. I try my hardest not to because, I mean, I don't really have the right to, do I? <laughs> but it, it's one of those fucking things. People will always seek a position of power if they are the sort of person that will abuse positions of power. That's, that's just a natural thing. And oh my God, sometimes people don't even do it for that reason. Sometimes it's not about clout. Sometimes it's not about, you know, being that big I am, being that big powerful. Sometimes they just do it because they want to be in that position. And I get it, you know, you come into the fandom, you see a lot of people that you look up to, a lot of content creators, a lot of videographers, fursuiters, all of that jazz, and you think, I want to be one of them, I want to do the thing as well. I, d I fucking did the same thing, why do you think I got here? It happens, it's easy, but fuck me, it does get a little bit wearing when you're just like, cool. Okay, so we got another fursuit video in public. Wonderful. And Oh, look, he's in a fursuit and he's doing cutesy shit. Wonderful. I'll add that to the list of 200 fucking others. And it does seem a little formulaic, people doing the specific stuff. You're like, this is all designed to boost engagement, boost the algorithm, and boost your numbers, which makes it all just feel hollow, empty, and soulless. At least to me. I've always made content that I want to make. I always say things that I want to say and put out there the sort of stuff that I would watch, but also that I enjoy doing. And it just seems to me that when you're walking around doing the latest fucking TikTok trend at a fur con, who's enjoying that? It's just like, oh, look, I saw a bunch of people not in fursuit doing this, so I'm going to get in fursuit and do it. Yay. Woo. Wonderful. What a fucking brilliant piece of art I'm contributing. I, I, I don't want to judge. It's personal preference. So don't take it that I'm saying it's outright good or outright bad, but... It just seems a little bit like, wow, why are you even bothering doing this? Because I, I know that that ain't the most enjoyable shit in the world. So wh what's the point? Your numbers have gone up a little bit, but why? What are you getting from that apart from a little bit of dopamine? Because that shit will run out fucking fast. So I get it. When it comes to clout chasing, when it comes to chasing the fame deliberately, it's fucking cringy. It's fucking annoying seeing people just do it for the sake of doing it. But unfortunately, you're always going to fucking have that. There's always going to be a flavor of the month for fuck's sake. And once you've been in the fandom as long as I have, you've seen them come and go. There were ones I can't remember their fucking name. I'm like, wow, you tried your hardest to be hot shit. And then you just won. Oh wait, that was me. Fuck. And I'm still here. So here's the harder part of this whole concept. And that's that a lot of people don't like the typical chasing fame, the typical kind of formula that we have for, you know, being a famous furry and making it, you know, something that you do. Uh, and unfortunately, that is the nature of the beast. Um, and for a lot of people, content creation, which, by the way, if you're going to get upset about people saying content creation, fuck you and shut the fuck up. I get that that phrase has negative connotations, but unfortunately, a lot of creators in this fandom create a hell of a lot of different stuff. And they don't want to have to say every time, like, oh, I make videos, I live stream, I do music, I sometimes write, occasionally I do art. No! That's all a collection of content that they create. Content create is an easier thing. You can put that down on a fucking tax form. Don't ever go at someone just because you have a negative perception of the fucking phrase, okay? Dicks. Anyway, now that we're off of that tangent, a lot of people in this fandom do rely on general content creation as their income. <clears throat> and it's something that they kind of have to play the game and engage in because it's fucking money. Algorithms exist. These systems exist and they all operate a certain way. And it, while it might be a bit cringy to see some of it, while it might be a bit fucking annoying to see people do these sorts of things, this is their job. In the same way that we're okay with artists constantly retweeting and promoting their artwork, why do we fucking turn on content creators for doing the same thing? Yes, there is an element of ego attached to it. Yes, it can come across very obnoxious, very arrogant. I totally get that. I totally understand that. But let me reframe it. Uh, everybody loves fucking Disney, Netflix, Marvel, Star Wars, all of that shit, right? Well, everybody watches this stuff. I mean, not every, everybody, but you get me. People like it when 
they have these big things. You have streaming services and you pay to watch this stuff. And they really force this shit down your throat. They pay for Super Bowl ads, they put billboards up, they are constantly trying to get you to watch the next thing. And anytime there's a fucking series airing on Disney+, Plus, it's everywhere. And people just tolerate it. That's a massive corporation that makes a shitload of money, dodges taxes, and treats its employees like shit, right? We all agreed on that. So we're okay with them doing it, and we don't really massively kick off like, oh, I'm seeing an advert everywhere. You just kind of just assume, like, oh, well, that's, that's just the nature of the beast. That's just how it goes. Why are we getting pissed off with personal creators at a very low level doing the same sort of thing? But yeah, we don't want to see ads infecting everything, but furries ain't fucking doing that, are they? They're trying to get people to watch their streams. They're trying to keep sub numbers up. They're trying to get people to help support them so that they can fucking live. Why is it suddenly a double standard that, ah, oh, well, fuck you, I don't like it, it's cringy. Ah, oh, fuck you, you're doing it all for the fame. Yeah, a lot of people do. A lot of people chase that clout. But unfortunately, also, they're not doing it just to be famous. They're doing it because it's their fucking job. Jesus. I thought we were here to help support people. I know that I have skin in the game. I know that I'm a little bit biased on this thing. So don't worry, don't take my words as gospel. It's just my perspective, but... Jesus, like we're supposed to be supporting creators, we're supposed to be helping artists and people who generally create things. Now, this is a very different thing to creating art and creating, you know, music, writing. It's it's different. It is. It's performance. But uh, I'm sorry, am I not? Uh, are we not still furry creators? Are we, are we all not here in the fandom, contributing to the fandom in ways that appeal to by the fandom for the fandom? Like, do we not deserve the same level of fucking respect? And I know that's a very difficult thing, because you do look at some creators and you're like, Wow, no, okay, bye. And it can be abused, but still, come on guys, why are we having a fucking fight about this? Does it really matter that much? Thank you very much for watching, hope you did enjoy this video and my point came across. Obviously the nature of fame and popularity is always going to be a sticking point in this fandom, because neither of them truly exist. Um, I operate very much in a little isolation cube where I just make stuff and put it online and some people like it. But I never feel like anybody watches my shit. So I'm probably not looking at this as I should be um, because it's just hard for me to comprehend it. But there are definitely people that are looking to be famous and are looking to be popular and definitely people whose whole thing is they want to go to a convention and be recognized because oh it's like i'm hot shit uh-huh take the hot out of there and maybe like if you want to do it fucking do it if you want to have to learn the lesson of how empty that shit becomes go for it but you'll learn that lesson and it won't be the most comfortable thing and it, it does give off a certain look to a point where people bitch about it on twitter but it's fine, that's Twitter. They'll bitch about something else in the next two and a half minutes. So it will always be a sticking point. Anybody who gets a certain amount of followers, certain amount of subscribers, whatever you want to call it, is going to get tired with this similar sort of brush. We all get there. It's like a wider passage. And it's valid. You're allowed to be pissed off at stuff. You're allowed to look at things and go, oh, God, that's fucking irritating and I hate it. Good, great, wonderful. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. Not a problem. That, that's the beauty of this world. Not everything has to be for everybody. So it's just one of those fucking things. But I found things to talk about, and I did. So there we go. That's all that matters at the end of the day. What do you think? Is this shit on the worse? Is it getting better? Is it just more fucking obvious? Or has it calmed down? Personally, I think it's calmed down since the like proper days of furry YouTube and I started up where it was literally like, oh, what color of Majira video do you want to watch? Because everyone's doing the same fucking shit. And, and now YouTube's dead. So we don't have that problem anymore. <laughs> Now it's TikTok and streaming, and now it's just kind of like, oh, so everyone is still doing the same shit. Cool, wonderful. It's just a different same shit. Whatever. I'll just keep doing CPO on this corpse, I guess. But anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I do actually read them. And uh, if you want to support, look at the various ways in which you can do that. Some of them have probably been flashing up already, purely because I've probably talked too much in this outro and... I need to fill the fuck. I, I need to get them shown before my fucking time runs out. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you for supporting if you do. And if you don't, maybe try. And I guess I'll see you all next week. Bye.